I've been working on a Blender add-on that simplifies brush making for Grease Pencil. It's a panel that consolidates all the save data blocks for the Grease Pencil. Blender is optimized to get rid of unused data for the next save. This helps me see what is and isn't saved and how to quickly toggle it on. This video will be part demo as well as part tutorial. It'll show how I can import the brushes from another blend file and how I use the add-on to keep track of all the textures and materials. That way my brushes stay consistent for the next iteration of my project. I use Blender Grease Pencil in a way that explores 2D visual elements in 3D design, so I'll use it to draw on top of curved surfaces and objects that I modeled to explore early visual development. It wasn't until recently I got the chance to hear from another add-on developer, Julian Gauthier, about how he developed his add-on and the interface for it, and he pointed me in the way of this program called Serpens, which is a node-based programming add-on as in itself that compiles the code for the program in Blender, which is pretty cool. So here I am at the default startup of a Blender file, and I'm just going into my add-on preferences just so that I can show you how you can install the add-on. You simply just go to where the zip file is located and you click install add-on. Make sure to checkbox it under the window and then it should populate in the viewport as GP brush saver. The second half of my add-on basically filters out all the grease pencil brushes from the non-grease pencil brushes in the brushes data block and then puts it into the grease pencil brush saver panel. Currently my add-on only works on the default startup of Blender. Under file in the top left, you can use the append function to transfer over data from a different blend file. So I'm going into one of my brush pack blend files here and I'm going to show you where you can import brushes. So we have the default brushes here with the custom brushes that I made. We're going to shift click the ones that we want into our file. And these brushes are brushes I made for past videos. So if you haven't seen those, go ahead and check it out. They basically cover how to make a brush from scratch to finish. If you like the brushes that you see here, you can download them at my Gumroad with the link down below. Once we've selected those, we're going to go ahead and click append. You'll notice now that the custom brushes populated the second half of the panel. You'll see in alphabetical order, row by row, the name of the brush, if it's pinned, and if the material to it has been saved. I notice I have duplicated some brushes, so I go into my outliner to quickly delete them. I'll start this scene by adding a grease pencil into the world space. Notice how the second half of the panel populates with all the brushes I appended inside. I toggle the scene world in the upper right so that I can give the world space background a flat white color. Under stroke properties, I turn off use lights so that I can determine the color of the grease pencil myself and to not be affected by the scene lighting. I also change my color management from filmic to standard, that way it's closer to the hue or value that I specifically chose. Switching to draw mode, if you open up the brush window on the left, you can see the brushes and the respective thumbnails. I'm going to delete this default stroke by changing the eraser type to stroke and deleting it. Now I'm going to draw with some of the brushes that I put into this blend file. Here we have the ballpoint pen. I'm just doing some little squiggles here. I'm going to change it to another brush. This is a chain brush. This one's a circle jitter brush. I've got this comic tone fill brush. Uh, here's a crayon brush. And so now with just this one grease pencil object, you can have multiple textures and brushes inside of it. With the grease pencil brush saver add-on, you can keep track of the textures that you use for each individual brush and make sure to toggle and save them. I've also included a pack resources button at the top to save all your textures at the same time. So now that your images are attached into the blend file. Okay, so here we have the torus, which we will use to make a blender donut. And I'm gonna demo how we can use the blender grease pencil to draw on its surface. So you see when I use the grease pencil on the donut, it creates the new material of the brush that I'm using. I'm using the square solid jitter brush that I have here, but in order for the hue jitter to work, I need to use vertex color. So I toggle it back into the vertex color and I go back into stroke, find the hue slider and just bump that up so that I can see the hue shifting from each texture. So you see it, when I bump it up more, it kind of gives each square a little bit different color variation. The hue variation is starting to look good for me, so I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the rest of the glaze on the donut. And I'm starting to think about the color maybe for the shadow too as well. If you have issues with the offset of your grease pencil to your object, I use a modifier called shrink wrap here. And what shrink wrap does is allows you to target the object that you're drawing on. And you can adjust the offset from this modifier here. And target normal project also aligns the grease pencil to the normal faces of your object. That way it doesn't clip into the object as much. 
For the shadow part of this glaze, you can see I can just stack the line of the grease pencil on top of the existing one, and it just overlaps really easily like this. If you're designing fast and loose, I like to use vertex color over materials. That way I can quickly just change the color in one grease pencil object instead of trying to shift the material each time to the specific color that I need. When I open up the brush window here, you can see all the brushes with their respective thumbnails added to them. I'm going to toggle to a dry brush to make the sprinkle portions of this donut. Because the sprinkles on the donut have different colors, I use vertex colors to swap between the colors really easily here. So here's the white sprinkles, go back in, change it to add the red sprinkles, go back in, change it to give it blue sprinkles, and some yellow ones. I hope this demo gives you a general overview of what you could do with Grease Pencil. Right now, Grease Pencil is a great tool for designing something early on as it's not as committing as texture painting and you can quickly just paint on top of models as if you were drawing on something physical in real life. You don't have to commit to UV unwrapping and making sure your topology is all correct in order to experiment with 2D on 3D. This workflow add-on I made just basically makes it easier for you to see what's saved and what isn't saved and making sure that it's saved for the next iteration of your project. That way Blender doesn't automatically delete it. The add-on for the panel and the brush pack will be available on my Gumroad and they continue to be in development so go ahead and check it out if you're interested in them. If you enjoyed the video or like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe or give a like to the video. It helps my channel out a lot and thank you guys. Have a good day. Yeah.